Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. The market is up inside of FIFA 22 Ultimate Team. As expected, we had squad battle rewards last morning, yesterday in the morning, and it rose the market as people got those cards. And as people are finishing the weekend league, they are getting packs. They're getting team of the week packs, which give them coins, right? And they're going out and they're upgrading their teams with those coins but the real question is how long is this market rise and a lot of these meta players higher tier cards how long is are these prices going to be staying up before we maybe see a dip again later on into this week right we're still trying to figure out what this new sort of schedule is on these cards as people are you know doing the weekend league getting their rewards early like they never have gotten them before and it's it's all brand new right and we're learning it so it's really curious to see especially even this morning early a couple hours after this video goes out we're gonna have foot champions rewards released to anybody that did not complete all of their games right I know it's still a very new process to a lot of people I bet most people didn't realize that you might get a point for losing or that you don't have to play all of your games or you can quit out of games to get your rewards instantly. So I'm wondering if people still kind of operate on how they played foot champions last year and they maybe didn't play all their games. They stopped at the rank that they wanted to achieve. I still think it's going to be interesting to see how the market reacts this morning on Monday morning as we have the all of the foot champions rewards distributed again here as you can see here champions finals rewards are granted when you finish your matches otherwise mondays at 7 a.m gmt so early on this morning we're probably going to have a little bit of supply coming on to this market of people that maybe didn't know they could claim their rewards right away and they stopped at whatever threshold and just didn't play any more games instead of quitting out of games to get that same threshold and to get the points to get their rewards right away. So that's a whole process, right? We're still monitoring how that impacts the market and how that looks. Also, I wanna take a look at today's content on Monday. As you may remember, last week we had the 78 plus upgrade packs released on Monday, and maybe they go with a player pick today. We'll talk about that a little bit as well. Of course, three new ones to watch items are available in packs. As of yesterday, they gave Sancho his ones to watch card. So we have Sancho, we have Correa and we have, I forget, Furpo. Furpo is the third one. So three more ones to watch cards and they're only out in packs until Wednesday. So very, very, very interesting. Now, speaking of weekend league rewards, one quick update. Let's talk about this. Last night, like right after I posted the video, um, EA FIFA Direct tweeted out again. And if you guys were not aware, Foot Champions player picks have been added back. So if you got your rewards or if you're getting your rewards this morning, you will be getting player picks. But for those of you that didn't get player picks when they initially shut down player picks because they were messed up, those are still being, um, I guess, sorted through and they're going to figure those out. So if you haven't got your player picks yet and you already got your rewards, hopefully you'll get those soon, right? Hopefully those will be released pretty soon. I wouldn't imagine they would take too long. But also one thing that's interesting is today on Monday is a, is a holiday. It's Thanksgiving in Canada and notoriously before on holidays canadian holidays there has not been content released in fifa it's kind of been like a day off right so especially for those player picks and even as we look into content today we're still a little unsure what could be going on but again let's talk a little bit more about this market rise again some of these players went up a nice amount of price today we're going to look at some graphs and just show that a lot of these cards especially on the high tier meta the high tier meta specifically where this market moved. Teo Hernandez last night, right after I recorded the video last night, Teo Hernandez dropped from 65K and down to about 62,000 coins. I bought some at 60,000 coins on some undercuts and some snipes because I knew that with squad battle rewards last night, he'd be rising up into the day. Uh, and so right, right here when he was 62, 63 K, I was able to snag some undercuts at 60 and he went all the way up to 70,000 coins. If you take a look at uh, some other graphs, here's Hakimi. Hakimi was down to 165, 167 K rose all the way to 184 where he is right now. Even Mbappe, right? Mbappe was down at 1.52 and rose all the way to 1.6 mil where he is. And if you take a look at a lot of these popular players, right? A lot of the higher tier ones, Pogba, that card is up in price. You take a look at Kimpembe. He was one of the biggest risers in price yesterday with the PSG links to the Wijnaldum SBC being so popular. Wijnaldum went from 43K all the way up over 50,000 coins from a one 
basically a one day period, right? Yesterday with little to no content, only a couple new cards and packs and a 75 plus player SBC available in the store with really little content that people are hyped about. And with more coins coming onto the market, more rewards being opened, you saw the higher, the high tier and the top level cards go up and you saw low tier cards that people are upgrading out of their teams go down. Here's another example, Sadio Mane, 237,000 coins. The man is 250, 820, he's 250 highs, almost 260K. So almost a 30,000 coin rise on a Sadio Mane card. Crazy, crazy rise on some of these higher tier cards. Now the story isn't all, you know, pretty with all these cards because a lot of the lower tier ones, if you think about it this way, people are maybe upgrading from a card like um, Allen. Where's, where's Allen? I want to watch Allen's gold card. I think he's on the top list here. Maybe he's not, but some of these lower tier cards um, went down yesterday. Like Renato Sanchez went down, right? Because people are upgrading from these cards in their team to something better, right? Um, Martial, 2,000 coins. What did his price do yesterday? Did he have a bump up in price at all? He went from 2K. He really didn't move that much, right? He didn't move that much because how many people are upgrading in their teams to Martial right now at the moment? The cards that you saw move the most were cards that people were upgrading to, right? Upgrading from maybe, you know, a League One center back that was pretty cheap, like a Denayer, right? Upgrading to a guy like uh, Marquinhos or Kempembe. Marquinhos going from 80K all the way up to 90 thousand coins you can even see it on the market index right we went from 63 points on the index all the way up to 67 now we're back down to 65 as we get into the evening so what the curious thing about it is as we're kind of learning this whole brand new reward structure with new rewards times squad battle rewards at a different time weekend league rewards can be claimed and redeemed at any time throughout the weekend how long is this high market going to last? Are people going to roll into Monday today on FIFA Ultimate Team and start to worry about what content is going to be released? Are they going to start to worry about upgrade packs or are they going to start to say, hey, I want to sell my team so I can have some coins ready because yes, this market is very volatile, even though it seems very strong after one day. How is this going to go? So I'm very curious to see how it does react today. Again, with some more Foot Champs rewards being released this evening, I'm going to be watching for some lows on some of these cards, but I'm really curious to see with the Foot Champions actual Foot Champions competition closing down for the weekend and finishing, does that lessen some of the demand? So will we have like a new weekly you know how it was in olden, like last year and two years ago, where it was like Thursday, you got your rewards and a lot of cards would go up for the weekend. They would go back down on Sunday night as people would sell their teams off, right? Maybe our new kind of uh, weekly fluctuation is that stuff will be at its lowest on like Thursday or Friday morning. And then people will be buying cards continually through the weekend and stuff will just go up. And Sundays, Sunday nights might be our new quote unquote high time on the market, right? That could be very interesting to see if that kind of stays through as we go through these next couple of weekends. But that's kind of the case this weekend. Now, always it's going to depend on the content that EA drop, right? But if you have some of these cards that went up a lot yesterday, I wouldn't. If you're somebody who doesn't need to play a lot of games throughout the week, if you have a Kempembe, you know, I, I wouldn't be super, I guess, I wouldn't hold on to these cards too much because, again, we know what this market is going to do. If we take a look at the Index 100 graph as a whole, look at where we are at right now on uh, Sunday, October 10th, as I'm recording this, 66 points on the Index. Where were we a week ago? We were at 77 points on the Index. We are down 11 points on the index just from a week ago and from a week before that I mean you know 82 points on the index so with foot champions coming this weekend it's really changing things from the earlier um, market points that we had seen before now Tuesday was a really high point on the market last week and two weeks ago but with foot champions this weekend and you know who knows what kind of content we're going to see throughout the rest of this week I don't expect to have a lot of insane content but again I could see it either going one of two ways Tuesday the the market might stay pretty high until Tuesday or depending on the content that we get today on Monday or you know with people finishing out their weekend league and getting their champions finals games done maybe we do see the market start to dip just a little bit. So if you're seeing, if you're happy with some of these prices that you're seeing on some of these gold cards of items that are in your team, 
uh, and you want to take the cash, then I guess you could. Uh, but again, the market seems pretty healthy right now at this point. It's, it's really just a learning curve for a lot of stuff right now with these cards. Although what I am going to be watching for tonight are some drop-offs in price, just like we saw last night. If we do see some cards that uh, drop off a little bit in price, we're going to take a look at those for sure. Cards that rose yesterday, we're definitely going to keep an eye on those because if they if they drop some more, uh, then you know we're going to get involved because we know that a lot of these cards are they are hyped, they're in demand. So we're going to keep an eye out for some of that stuff today on Monday as we get into this day. So again, let's talk about Monday today. Content wise, it is a holiday in Canada, which you know sometimes means that we don't get much content. But exactly one week ago. On last Monday, we had an upgrade pack SBC uh, release, right? The 78 plus upgrade pack was released this last week. And a lot of times, if you guys remember this, in promos last year, a two week promo, they would start off week one with an upgrade player pack, and then they would bring out a player pick option as an upgrade repeatable SBC out of the week two. So, there's a small glimmer of hope maybe today we could have the first ever repeatable player pick upgrade SBC. Now, again, it, we might not have very much. A lot of times the second week promos as well, besides those upgrade packs, were not very good, right? You think about the content that we've been seeing so far in the second week of ones to watch. It is definitely slowed down um, in terms of the players. We haven't had a single objective card. Of course, we still have Kamavinga and Cliver, but these are expiring on Wednesday with all the other ones to watch stuff. So... I doubt that we would get a brand new uh, ones to watch objective player, maybe another player SBC, but I doubt it. Even that, that seems a bit far-fetched, but maybe they drop a player pick pack today. That could be interesting, right? That would be something that if, if it is a 78 plus player pick, or maybe even an 80 plus player pick, if they were to drop that this early in the game, I think a lot of people would go out and do those packs and that could drop the market a little bit today as well. So that's going to be kind of what we're looking out for. And as we kind of go on throughout this week, right? Mondays, we kind of take a look at the market for the rest of the week and what could be happening promo wise. Of course, ones to watch in its entirety, everything ones to watch related is, is done on a Wednesday, right? And we know, we know that in years past, when they have done a hard stop on Wednesdays, sometimes that means that there is a new promo coming not too long after that. So I'm really genuinely curious to see what is going to happen with some of these cards on the game uh, today and, and into this week. I'm genuinely curious to see with these ones to watch items, is EA ending ones to watch on a Wednesday because they're going to have a promo on Friday? Are we going to have rule breakers? Are we going to have scream coming up this Friday? Or is it just going to be, you know, both uh, ones to watch team one and two in packs? I'm really not sure. I'm, I'm curious to see what they do. But, um, you know, it is kind of interesting that they're stopping ones to watch, like literally dead stop. Everything is done on Wednesday. So Wednesday into Thursday, we'll be watching for some promo screens, watching for any hints. We might have our first loading screen panic of FIFA 22, which would be very, very interesting. But if you're trading on the market right now, which I know a lot of you guys might have some questions, where do I trade? What do I trade with? Watch the fluctuations on gold cards and especially watch these ones to watches and these out of pack items, right? Today, I know we talked about low times yesterday for some of these informs in Team of the Week 3. Foden was like 90K last night. He's up 10,000 coins. Sun hasn't moved that much, but you might have one last round today of some tradable supply for this Team of the Week as people get Team of the Week packs from, uh, what is it, Rank 3 or Rank 2? I think it's Rank 3 where you get a Team of the Week pack, and that gives you tradable Team of the Week cards. That could supply some of these cards a little bit this morning. So for Foden, Sun, Jonathan David, Suarez, you know, maybe even uh, Chalmeni or um, the Tonali card. If you want to get an involved in any of these, maybe a last shot with a little bit of supply with foot champs this morning, that could be something that you keep an eye on. Now, of course, ones to watch too. These guys are in packs for two less days and Sancho, Correa, and Furpo are going to be extra rare because they're only in packs for three days in total from Sunday until Wednesday. So we're keeping an eye on this Sancho card as he does fluctuate around in price. Now, we have had a couple ones to watch movements because DePaul actually and Argentina did uh, earlier this evening, DePaul scored a goal and I think he might have had an assist as well. I know he scored a goal and so his ones to watch card has shot up 
recently from about, yeah, I think he was almost discard. He was down 16,000 coins, uh, which is basically discard for his item with his price range. And he is now up to 22, 23K with that potential inform hype coming this Wednesday on International Break Team of the Week. So that's kind of something that you saw. Um, you know, you saw some more interesting ones to watch movements. Depay has gone up a little bit. I think Netherlands play today on Monday. So just watch out for a couple more of these ones to watch that have games. Varane's ones to watch card. He left the game injured yesterday in the Nations League final, which they ended up winning. But he left the game injured, and Oop McConnell got subbed in for him. Varane's card went from 640 down to 600 and is now back up in the 630, 640 range. So interesting fluctuations there. But again, you see in the Griezmann, I've got a couple of those on my transfer list uh, that I was buying at 115K before we went out of packs. Really nice rise there. A lot of the ones to watch as we are just holding. But if you're trading again this week, hero cards. Hero cards, again, they fluctuate a decent amount. They're pretty rare. And they do move around. I like trading with Al Jaber. I like trading with Melito a little bit. Coler, Gomez, Morientes, Joe Cole, Cordoba, and Icons as well, right? A lot of the Icons continue to go up with the way this market has been has been moving. You take a look at the daily graph. It's just kind of been a slow rise on a lot of these Icons as people are using them. So take a look across the Icon market, especially with a little bit of weekend league sell-off coming in here. I see a couple cards just off the, the, the footprint uh, page there that maybe have some lower prices at the moment that I'm going to take a look. And 625 for uh, for Sanchez is pretty low, right? That is a decent drop-off in price. You even have a bit of 619 on that one card. So 625 is sitting there is interesting. There's a couple overnights that I don't like. Uh, and then I saw Cliver was interesting as well. So, you know, trading with some of these cards at the moment, the Heroes, the Out of Packs Team of the Week cards, and even Silvers, right? People are still grinding the objectives for the... Um, the silver beasts and the silver stars inside of that silver lounge mode. So icons and heroes, and even with the gold cards, with the fluctuations, right? You could made you could have made a lot of coins yesterday, and I think you might have another opportunity to do so today with gold cards that dip overnight. If you buy, look to buy during the rewards time frame, you'll see those cards kind of rise up into the daytime. Now, again, the only question about that today is going to be: Do it, does it rise without? These, the, the amount of demand that we have had over the weekend with some of these cards and, of course, people playing in the Foot Champions Finals. But we're going to have to see what that is and how the market reacts. And we got a sale. Who done it? De Young at 112. The GGs. We'll take that. So, again, sales are coming in, right? Because the market is high. So, if you feel like you want to dish out your team and you feel like that either now between Sunday and Tuesday is going to be a high point, I don't think it's a terrible idea because I do think you will see a lot of cards with the way the supply is on this game. Some of the cards are probably going to drop off as we maybe have more panic selling and more stuff going on heading into the end of this week. We're really just going to have to kind of watch that situation as it goes and as it unfolds and as we know what's coming this Friday for a promo or a lack of a promo, whatever it may be. So it's going to be a very, very interesting week to say the least. Hopefully today it starts off with some good content and hopefully we don't have like a dead start to the week today on content, but we will see what we have. So that's the video for today, boys. Again, the market is up. If, if you feel like taking some cash on some cards and you don't need a team until next weekend, maybe you take the cash, right? Or if you run, want to run a cheap team, until next weekend when probably we'll see prices drop again on Thursday and Friday heading into maybe another promo. That will be something to kind of take into consideration. Or if you just enjoy the team you're playing with right now, then keep rocking through champs and, and or rivals and, and the, the, uh, the foot champions playoffs and get those games done with your main team. So that's the video for today, boys. If you did enjoy, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.